This is a short video explaining naming numbers in hexadecimal. I will be using the Magnuson naming method. For a variety of reasons, I think this one will be the easiest for most people to pick up. So writing the numbers in hexadecimal are rather simple. It just goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. The following naming method has been used to help differentiate hexadecimal numbers from letters. After the number 9, we write an A for Anne, B for Bet, C for Chris, D for Dot, E for Ernest, and F for Frost. The number Frost would be equal to 15, and it'd be followed by 1, 0, which we'll call 10, but remember this is the same thing as 16 in the decimal system. Then your numbers will continue 11, 12, 13, 14, until we get to 1A, our Antine, followed by Bethteen, Christine, Dotteen, Ernestine, Frostine, and then 20. Counting by tens after 90 is Anti, Betty, Christy, Dottie, Ernesty, Frosty, and then 100. Remember, 100 in hexadecimal is actually equal to 256 in decimal, 16 times 16. So let's look at one example a little bit more specifically. Here we have 1DCA. You could really pronounce this two ways. You could call it 1000.100 Christiane. Or another way to name it is just to break it up into two pieces at a time. We could call it dot teen Christiane. Oftentimes in hexadecimal, two characters can be used to represent one thing from a set of 256 objects. For example, this shade of orange could be described as having frosty and red, 50 bet green, and dot blue. Another example would be the number 30 dot matches the ASCII character for the equal sign. I did a number of videos on Dozenal, and this is my first video on hexadecimal. Let me know if you're interested in seeing other number bases in the comments. Thanks for watching.